Hi guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about some of my comments I received on my last video. Uh, it was last night. And I noticed that there was a couple comments that did not make it to like where public, where everybody could see it. And I was wondering what those people said to cause those comments to be pretty much hidden because I, I didn't know that was a thing. Well, I mean, I guess if somebody said something really bad, then I could see why YouTube would, I mean, I guess hide it or, but what the person said wasn't really even that bad. Um, they, I don't know. So I just, it makes me wonder like how many comments have I said in videos and they never made it onto the platform because YouTube hit it. So I don't know, leave a comment and tell me what does that mean? Like, do you have to, when you're saying somebody's name, do you have to, I, cause I know a lot of people put initials and so was that why? Because they said their full name. I don't think what they said was like really that bad. Um, I also received a comment from uh, Createx ZBD, and I want to say thank you. That was a very nice comment. That really m meant a lot. I should not have made this video, that video, right before I went to bed, Be <laughs> because I was laying in bed. I had to go to work this morning. I couldn't sleep, so I'm like, oh no, YouTube's probably in that comment section tearing me apart. Luckily, they didn't. So, I'm making this video today because Jeffrey went on uh, Rylan Adams' p podcast, and it's The Sip, with uh, Rylan Adams and Lizzie. And I have noticed that Shane's in the background. You can hear him laughing, and uh, he talks a little bit, but you don't see him on camera, which is very, very disappointing. I would have definitely loved to see Shane and Jeffrey both you know, on camera. I think their chemistry is wonderful and both their laughs, um, Jeffrey's, his howl, he just howls out. It just makes me, it makes me smile. You have to smile because it's, it's hilarious. So Ryland started off with introducing Jeffrey as in 2018 being the highest paid YouTuber bringing in $18 million. So, and they, they talked about this a little bit about how him and Shane's best time was like just a year ago and it seemed like it's been a couple years ago and it does it seems that documentary I watched it several times I can't believe it just came out a year ago it does seem like it's been like three four years that's how crazy 2020 has been and that's also Jeffrey goes into talking about how this he's never received the hate that he has received this year and how people were saying to I don't know if I can say this on YouTube they did I don't know so they hurt himself and you know stuff that no human being should ever say to another human being it's it's pretty awful and I, I'm very sorry that Jeffrey Shane and others have to go through that because nobody should have to go through that especially the magnitude of that like the whole entire internet and just weighing down on you I couldn't imagine so let's be nice out there and I said it on my last video and I'll say it on this video we can agree to get disagree it's okay if you don't like somebody or you don't agree with the things they do just don't watch their videos don't support them don't click on the videos don't give them views don't buy their merch you know if a friend's over at your house and asks you hey do you like this person no I, I don't support that person you don't have to get on and spread hate and negativity it's it's not needed so let's see oh Jeffrey talks about how the neg the positive people like the people who are bringing positive stuff to him kind of gets pushed to the side and a lot of the hate comes out and that's like the hates the spotlight and that's all you see and I was actually thinking of this earlier before I even seen the video and I've actually seen a few creators make videos on Jeffrey and Shane 
supporting them, backing them up, and even them received hate. And I, and I kind of, I just feel like, you know, your fans, you have loyal fans out there. You have people who are waiting for you to come back. You have people who go to the subscribe uh, button and look and see every day, did Jeffrey drop a video? Did Shane drop a video? You have people waiting for you. Um, who cares about the naysayers? You know, get on and do what you enjoy doing, making videos, making content. So I And it's just, I feel like though your fans, if they're able to sit there and be persecuted, then you should come back and do it for them. Just do it for them. So what else? And then I was reading, and then so it looked like, it sounded like Jeffrey wasn't really, he's kind of burnt out on YouTube. And I don't know, it, it kind of sounded like he wasn't going to make a return back to YouTube. That he might, um, <laughs> like he said, come back and sell stuff. And I'm sure that it would get a lot of hate. It's already been said. And he said something too. Like he was on YouTube, I don't even know how many years. But I think he said like the last five years, he has put out three videos a week for five years straight. So that is kind of a cop out just because 2020, a hard year for him. He's kind of back, backed up, took a break from it. And then everybody wants to come out and say, oh, you're just coming out when you have something to sell. That's not fair. That's not fair. Um, I say um a lot. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know if he's coming back. I hope. I really do. I would love to see. Oh, goodness. I would love to see Jeffree Star approved videos, him reviewing stuff. I know there's not a lot of videos or a lot of makeup, you know, launches being put out this year. And I was thinking that about that this morning when I was getting ready. I would hate to be a makeup or like a lipstick brand. Are people putting out lipsticks this year? That would suck because who's wearing lipstick in 2020 with a mask? That's just a side note. <laughs> so on my last video, I forgot to put, oh, I wanted to read some of the comments. I got my uh, son's phone. He's letting me use it and he's supposed to help me do a thumbnail. We'll see how that goes. So on the comments, they most of them, I mean, I scrolled through for a while and most of them were positive. I, I actually didn't even see any negatives. Now people are probably going to say, well, they're getting deleted. I don't know, but these are a lot of positive comments. And let's see, we have, I miss Shane and Jeffree Star laughing together so much. Hearing them laugh makes me smile. This was good. It was like watching friends get together and have cocktails and conversation. This was good. Let's see, all of the comments on IG are so negative. There's no forgiveness on the internet and it's kind of sad. People make mistakes and I feel they've all grown. And then somebody said, I thought I read the title wrong. The drama channels will be eating well this week. And somebody replied to that and they say, Peter Mon will make multiple videos about this one hour segment. And then right underneath it says, this was, this will last Peter Mon for a solid two months worth of content. And I laugh. Don't we? I love Peter Mon. I love Peter Mon, but it's true. And then it talks about Adam McIntyre will make 84 videos about this and manage to insult Rylan at the same time. True, true. Okay, guys. So that's it. This is going to be a quicker video. My last video I did not say, and I even wrote it down. They were like, why didn't you write it down? And I didn't, I don't know where I put it. Oh, I also want to say he has a, Jeffree Star said he's working on a book, so he should have a new book coming out. And it sounds like his next launch isn't going to be until January. So, please, 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 if you leave a comment, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It would help this channel. I'm trying to get it off. You know, it's a new channel. So if you would hit the subscribe channel and like this video, it would help me out a lot. 
And I appreciate it, guys. Leave your comments below and tell me what you what you think about it, uh, your theories and thoughts on uh, whether Jeffrey and Shane should come back, whether you think they want to come back, or anything. Leave a comment. I, I really want this videos to be a two-way conversation. I, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, so until next time, I'll see you later.